Hello everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and this is beginning of part 7 here of rebuilding the deck and uh, we decided we were going to stain the uh, the post here. We're going to stain these here first before we can put them up in place here. So we're starting to stain these here so that we're getting a stain on here. So we got the wife out here and one of the granddaughters out here helping here with the uh, with staining these uh, railing posts and we're getting the stain on them here. And I also realized I had forgotten to stain this part here of the deck here where the uh, hot tub's going to go. So we've got to stain that here before the hot tub gets put in here. And hopefully we got some guys coming over to help help here in the next few days here to help us get the hot tub in place. So here we go. All right, so we've put the first coat of stain on this air part here, stain and protector on this part here. We got to let let it uh, set for 45 minutes to an hour. Then we'll put our second coat on. So this is a redwood stain. Now some of these boards on here are actually boards that have been setting out for over a year and have dried and weathered a bit. So they're actually darker here because we didn't clean them up really well. But this is where the hot tub is going to be so I didn't care about getting it, getting them perfectly clean and more about protecting it than anything else. But So this is a, what it's going, sort of what it's going to look like here. Some spots are drier than others right now so this is the first this is the first uh, coat here. We're going to do one more coat here, and then we'll be finished with where the deck, uh, where the hot tub is going to go. Also, here are some of the posts that have been done. These have gotten their first coat, uh, first 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 coat on. They need a second coat. There's some more over there, and we got some more over there here. So we got to get another coat on these here as well. But I'm not as much of a hurry to get those done. But they're starting to look good too. Then we get to do all this here, finish up the deck through here after the hot tub goes in. And uh, we're going to actually end up probably using a sprayer to sit and spray the deck instead of doing it with a paintbrush. But we're in such a hurry and my sp don't have a sprayer ready, so we're doing, doing it with paintbrushes. Okay, I didn't get any video here of putting in the, uh, the rail post, but here's the rail post here in the dark with the with lights on the post here so this is this is what we got here so far so working in place I got one post there I gotta finish getting in place and I got another here I got a few more posts to go we still got to get the hot tub in uh, in place we got it up on this edge here we had a couple guys come over here we got it up on this edge but that's as far as we can get thing is a lot heavier than I thought and so we still got to get it moved into place and finish up the decking over here but this is the progress that we're making here, and uh, so this is where we're at. I still got to get the uh, the boards for the railings and the uh, balusters. The balusters are going to be these curvy aluminum balusters that we're going to put in here, and uh, so I got to get those ordered. Get the uh, top and bottom rail for this year uh, ordered and picked up as well, and uh, we'll take move on from there. So we actually stained these here, the, the post here before they went up. It's going to be, it's easier to do that there. We'll do the same thing with the rails. We'll stain them before they go up in place here. We're going to get the uh, deck here stained here uh, in a little bit. We take the, come out here and have um, sanded off the, uh, all the ink stains, uh, ink from the, uh, the, the markings and everything that uh, they put on the uh, boards. So we've got to kind of let that uh, fade in and then we can come out here and we'll stain start staining the deck uh, We're going to take and do this deck stain in a little at a time because we have all kinds of uh, Deck gear out here. So we're going to stain a section of it move the deck gear onto it and uh, Then move move along as we're going along because we got to clean each portion as we go along as well. So That's where we're at today started staining and sealing the uh, rails here that will be used for the uh, uh, the deck, and uh, so this is the first eight of them here. Uh, they need another coat here. These have got a light coat on them here. It was just too hot to get out here too long here, uh, but I need to get another coat on here and uh, get these here ready. I've got to start putting 
uh, getting the balusters uh, and uh, that will be the next step here I've got to take and make uh, the templates for how the balusters are going to be set up here between these here two uh, so this is enough here for the first four sets of rails well actually first five yeah first four sets of rails one two three four yeah eight there so I've got eight rails here so I've got so first four sets well I can make out of these here um, and uh, so uh, I got to get the templates uh, made for the uh, to put the balusters onto these here and then we'll be putting those balusters in next okay so I have started putting the rails together this is what they will look like this is in place just a test fit and unfortunately I cut the bottom rail just a hair too long because there's a slight gap there and uh, so that's being spread apart at the top when I had it all together before I had the bottom in let me take you around the and had it the tops together here it was off by a sixteenth of an inch so I've got these pieces on here so that, that so it'll be plate in place so I'm gonna have to take this back down but this is just to put in place and get an idea of what it's going to look like and it's going to be up just a little bit higher there'll be a two by let me see if I can find here we go a piece of scrap here uh, that's where I was working on it here taking putting it together so, piece that I cut off. So, the idea will be when I get this all done. It's all, and it's only partially put together. It's only how this will be. There'll be a rail on top of it, like this here. So it's got to come up to there. So that's how it's going to be. So it's got to come up three quarters of an inch, but. Uh, that's where we're starting. That's where we're starting out there. That's what the what it's going to look like, sorta. Of. So got some work to do here. Get this in here. Uh, those are those rails are got four inch between centers. Right at four inches between centers. I'm mean, the balusters are right at four inch between centers. I'm mean, not between centers. Five inch between centers. So it's four inch between the balusters. So because they're one inch wide. So. It gives a four inch gap uh, and it's there's going to be there's still going to be one more two by four goes out the edge here uh, to, to clean this here up here but that's about what it's going to be like and uh, so it'll be a little bit of a gap there at the bottom the rail up on top of it the handrail I mean the uh, rest rail whatever you want to call it will be up on top of that there so just give a little bit of an idea of where we're at right now with this here. This takes a while to take and build, put together one of these here. So, especially when you're doing it by yourself. Uh, and uh, the fact that I have a bad bit, screw bit, so it takes a little bit longer with a bad bit. I got to get some new bits so that I don't have the issue. So, uh, this is where we're going towards. And uh, so. What the heck's going on with my phone? My phone was acting up. So that's what we're going towards. And uh, we're going to get some more of this here done here. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like when, we're, when we get there. Okay, so we had this stump here that was in the way. So we didn't burn it out yesterday and we just filled it in with a bunch of rocks and concrete blocks and stuff like there to get it. Because I'm actually, should not be actually driving on it. I should be driving right beside of it. So we have the hot tub here, the tractor with it on forks, we got the hot tub here in place here, so we've got it strapped on here. So lift it up here with the forks here on the tractor, and uh, so I, I, I'm offset on this here so that I go beside of the, the um, that hole, because if I went offset the other side, I wouldn't be able to get offset enough, so I'm going to be offset here, so I should be pulling in right beside of that hole there and uh 
going up in there and setting it in place here. So this is what we're about to do here, hopefully. So uh, we're going to set up a camera up on top here to take and watch the whole thing here. The wife's going to sit there and try to guide me in place while I take and pull the tractor up here. So this became a little bit more difficult than I expected here. Um, I am not very level ground here, and uh, the uh, it wanted to tip it, tip it over, so I kept tipping to the right because I had too much weight to uh, tip tipping to the left, I should say, because I had too much weight to the left, and uh, so it kept trying to tip to the left there. Um, if I lifted it up too high, and because I was on unlevel ground. And, uh, I mean, I've got a duck. I mean, that thing sits out. It's eight foot long. So I've got to take and try to re reposition it here. And it's like I'm just not getting it in position. It's moving around. I'm digging up the ground. It's, uh, it's a lot of pain. I keep trying to re 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 reposition here, try to reposition um, and try to get it in. I mean, it's lifting. It's not a problem with the lifting it. It's the problem with it, trying to get it balanced on here i mean got 40 40 inch forks 44 inch forks somewhere there an eight foot hot tub that's 800 pounds i got a total of 1200 pound lifting on those forks and uh so that's a little bit of well, the weights a little bit too far forward uh for that uh with the hot tub like this here but a little bit of work we get around we get adjusted we keep getting adjusted uh little bit here to keep adjusting on it here so I can get around now I finally taking I think I put reposition where I'm at with a track on it here to keep moving around keep getting in place here move around where I can get it because I'm, I'm I'm tilted at an angle there about four or five degrees there uh, when I'm over at the side there and this is kind of getting level here so I'll get the wife's taking trying to get me directed in here try to try to explain to her where I need to have the the um, the gap, what, what kind of gap I need, how I need to have a gap. Now, I'm coming at this at an angle because I don't have, I, I can't come in here straight. There's no way possible for me to come in this here straight. Um, and here, so i got to come in at a slight angle here. And I've only got maybe eight inches of play between side to side. I don't even think i got eight inches. i got maybe six inches of play side to side. Um, I'm trying to fit an eight foot wide hot tub in place where I can't see so I'm trying to get up there so I at least get a corner of it up in place up on there and then I think lift it up get, get it tilted down the front of it down uh, so I get, get it in there just a little bit so it's setting on that deck just a little bit here and then we're going to get, get uh, some some concrete blocks to, to go underneath the the outside edge of it so I can get repositioned uh, under with a tractor at a different angle and try to spin it around a little bit here. Um, so this takes a bit of work here to get some co concrete blocks to go up underneath of it. And uh, so I gotta get it lifted up, get everything set up underneath there. And uh, so getting the concrete blocks, I gotta lift it up, get it in place there, and get the Get the get it unstrapped there now. So now I can take move the tractor. Now I can take and try to move and take and reposition. Take and try to go at different angles and take and try to get it to rotate a little bit around because uh, we've got about a foot of it on the deck over on the far side, but the, this side of it is still is st still off of it. So I've got to try to try to here. We're going to try to. Uh, keep it from pulling back here. So we're taking put the strap here on the deck here just to keep it from pulling back while I rotate it around. There it goes. It, it rotated around a little bit there. And uh, the strap came off. So we got it, got it rotating around a little bit there. So we got it back on the those blocks there. So we're taking slowly, get in here a little at a time here, get it to rotate a little at a time. And uh, uh, just, it's just a pain trying to get there because I can't get it to fully rotate exactly and I can't get directly behind it to get it going perfectly straight so it's moving the moving the blocks underneath the back of it here 
a little out of time there. Our cat comes out here to take <laughs> said, oops, no, let me get out here. So, <clears throat> taking a little out of time here, take move it, readjust, re move it, readjust. And I've got, finally got, uh, sorry, over half of it is on the deck, so I can take and just do little bitty adjustments here. And then I can get to the point where now my forks are on the deck, and uh, I think push it up to it, and I get it in the, almost in the place. But every time I get there, I'm keeping rolling back down the hill, so... And uh, it starts rolling back down the hill, so I can only get it so far here. And then um, we'll go and lift it up and put some blocks underneath that back edge, so I can get my forks out. Then I can go underneath of it and put the forks down underneath. So I'm taking pushing the top of the forks and push it into place. So it's sort of in a place. It's not exactly in the place, but it's close. <coughs> okay. So we've got it sort of in place, not completely. We've got it up on, there's some blocks up underneath of there, and it's still got to take me straightened up and everything, but God, what a pain that was because I don't have level ground here. I got holes, I got dips and everything, and I didn't have a straight straight run into it here, but uh, it took a bit of work here to get it, a couple hours of work here to, to get it in here. So we've got to take still a little bit more work to get it in place completely, but there we go. Got the hot tub in here, a little bit more work to get it in place, and then we can finish up the deck.